All right, welcome to my channel. We're gonna shoot a video on this beautiful day. Um, basically, I'm gonna show you the accuracy of my Heritage Rough Rider, and then I'm gonna show you how I actually got or pulled that accuracy out of the pistol itself. Because when I first got it, it was shooting, I don't know, eight inches low. It was, it was pretty bad. But um, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna have fun, shoot a little bit, and um, then I'm gonna show you exactly what I did to get this gun dialed in to be accurate. Stay tuned. I actually just got done shooting 12 uh, homemade subsonic rounds just to kind of test out the accuracy of them. I really haven't had a chance yet. Um, pretty, pretty neat results. Actually really good results for what it is. Um, if you haven't checked out the video, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Um, definitely check it out. Basically, I'm breaking down 22 LR rounds, leaving in a half charge, reassembling with no special tools, and um, they are actually working pretty dang well. Um, just to show you real quick, those were all from, I don't know, 15 feet. So 15 feet, I really started concentrating here. I was doing some decibel tests here, shooting one-handed. Um, so pretty, pretty impressive results. We're just gonna use the same target, have a little bit of fun. Sunday fun day, uh, heritage shooting. My goal is to just burn a hole right in the center of that target, so stick with me. All right, get the old heritage out, open her up. Get us some rounds loaded up. This thing is due for some cleaning, that's for sure. guys as you can see we blew a hole right through it you know that's about 15 feet away just to show you what I did as far as dialing in my accuracy like I said I was shooting eight inches low so that told me that my front blade sight here was actually too tall <clears throat> it made my point of aim much lower uh, than it needed to be so all I did to counteract this was, first of all, I use uh, blue painter's tape to go ahead, mask off that barrel to protect the barrel. And um, I came in with a bastard file, a fine bastard file, just like this one. Put the gun in a vise. Um, you can use leather wrapped around the gun to help secure it in that vise so the vise doesn't damage anything. Um, and essentially, Bear with me a second, I'm gonna put you on my head here. Essentially what you do is you take your, your file and you actually run it 
over the top of that that blade sight and uh, what you can do is first off mark just a thin line with a permanent marker of how much meat you want to take off and file that meat off then go test shoot if it's not shooting where you need it to shoot if it's still not accurate come back draw another line on that that front blade sight file a little bit off at a time get back out there fire it again every single time you take a little bit off get back out there and fire it you do not want to take too much off that would just be not a good situation but it's easy enough to bring this sight around um, to make it more accurate as you could see um, I came back with Birchwood Casey's Plum Brown. Um, I can actually see this a lot better from the rear uh, when I'm aiming my pistol than I could when it was blued. But you could come back with Birchwood Casey's Perma Blue, which is a cold blue solution with a Q-tip and touch up your areas. So after I was done filing to get rid of any filing marks, I came back with a smaller little file to clean up and round those edges a little bit, just a little bit. And then um, sanded it with a little bit of 400 grit and then 600 grit to slick it up and uh, you can see there she's good to go so one of the main tips guys for me at least for becoming a better shooter is to practice at further distances really dial in your shooting your stability um, your you know your eyesight getting used to your sights at a further distance it'll make you a better shooter up close it's just like archery um, the more you shoot at further distances to dial in your accuracy, obviously the better you're going to be up close. That's some of the best advice I can give you. It's something I've really taken to heart over the years, and it really does help me improve year after year. Sometimes you got to get back out there and shake off the dust. I'm not going to lie. Ammo is pretty scarce still, and if you can find certain kinds of ammo, it's pretty expensive. So we're not out here shooting all the time. That's why these little guns are great as well. Um, if you're lucky enough to have a bunch of 22 LR sitting by, you're good to go. Um, just all around perfect round. I'm going to continue on this series. I'm going to do multiple videos about 22 LR and Heritage Rough Rider. I've got more fun stuff coming up. So if you can just like and subscribe, I will keep this information coming to you and we will keep having some fun. All right, we'll see you on the next one.